What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel here. For some reason, my capture card isn't picking up. Just give me a second. I'll get it hooked up. There we go. That should be it. Or at least I'm hoping so. Oh, man. I guess it doesn't want to... Um, I guess it doesn't want to pick up. Hold on. There we go. Sometimes I have to refresh the... Uh, USB connector. It's typical. It's, it's Windows. I don't. I don't expect much from a Windows machine. What's up, Fencer? There we go. All should be good now. I refreshed it. There we go. I don't know. I had to refresh it so many damn times, but at least it's working. Um, so yesterday we really got into. Um, we really got into the game. I, I'd like to think that I'm. Based on my knowledge of the original game, we are about 50% through. Maybe, maybe 60. Uh, but the, the last half of the game is going to be real rough. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, if I remember correctly, with the original Resident Evil 2, where I'm at now, Mr. X is about to show up and... He chases me through the mansion, or not the mansion, I'm thinking of Resident Evil 1, uh, the police station, which is where I'm going right now. And see, the thing is, is that in the original Resident Evil 2, and I don't want to spoil the game if you guys haven't seen it, um, Mr. X is really not a bad guy and is crazy, um, as crazy that may sound, Mr. X is not a bad guy in the game. Now, yes, he does chase you around, um... I mean, he is bad, but it's kind of a gray area. Mr. X was unleashed to kill the Tyrant. That's what he's there for. He's a cleanup crew, um, and he's really, his agenda there is to, I mean, to kill the stars, which are not there, apparently, um, and they're not, but uh, he was there to kill the Tyrant. So Mr. X, you could say, is 50-50. He's kind of in the middle because he's going after Leon and Claire and... Um, of course, the stars members, but his his original mission is to kill the tyrant. Now, they never meet, and you never really see them fight, as far as I can remember. I don't think they do, but I know if they did, the tyrant wouldn't stand a chance against Mister X. Mister X would crush him, but that's I mean, that's the whole reason he's there. Uh, but it never happens. Claire and Leon end up fighting him, <laughs> so never really get to see much of any of that. But it's a great game. I love the original. And things are about to get real. Mr. X is about to chase me through the police station. I'm going to run into the the Tyrant or the Gyrant because it's the G-Virus a couple more times. We're going to take this circular elevator down this kind of cylinder sub-basement level, which is sim uh, similar to the mansion. And I'm not going to spoil the rest for you, but things are about to get real lit in the second half of the game. What's up, Frost? The TRX. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, bro. Yeah, I knew it was coming. I told everybody it was. Um, What's up, Drew? So, yeah, it would have been nice to see Mr. X go at it with the Tyrant. That would have been an epic battle. And like I said, who do you guys think would have won that fight? Personally, I think Mr. X is tougher. Um... The Tyrant from the first one was tough. The Tyrant from the second one, with the G-Virus, is really tough. But Mr. X is insane. Like, just really insane. Very methodical and evil and just... It's, it's the thing is with Mr. X is he's not... He's not a human being infected with a, with a virus. Um, Mr. X is like an engineered war machine. So... I guess you could say that he's pretty much almost unbeatable. So that would have been really cool to see Mr. X go at it with the Tyrant. Now, I want to have a vote here in the comment section. And I'm going to mention it a couple of times as the streams progress. Um, would you guys rather see Resident Evil 3 as the next long play? Or would you guys rather see Resident Evil 1, the remake, first? Because... I want to do them both, but I don't know which one to do first. 
So it's up to you guys. Let me know which one you prefer. I'm just looking something up right now while I'm taking a quick break. Um, I, I'm thinking... I don't even remember what year Resident Evil came out. The remake. Um... I think it was like 2002 when it came out for GameCube. Because I'm looking for that right now. I remember they made part one, but I don't think it was like a complete remake. Um... No, I don't think they even brought that back out. I think they refreshed it for PS... PS1, or a PS4, I mean, I think. I'm just double-checking that, because I remember my brother was playing it. But I just don't remember... I'm trying to remember Resident Evil Zero... I don't know, I feel like uh, they put it on PlayStation 4. Originally, it's a 2002, but I don't remember when it came out on PS4. That's what I'm looking up right now, just to see. Yeah, Zero is good. I, but I didn't beat that. I only played it for like a few minutes. I'm looking it up right now. I don't see... Uh, I don't know when it was released for PlayStation, but I know it was a digital download only. Um, it was like a couple of years ago. I think I have it. I'll have to check my library. What's up, Eli? I was just curious on the release date. Might have to play that. Although, I like the engine they use in Resident Evil 2 better, though. Okay, so... Before we start the game, I want to go into my library. Because I'm curious. As I really believe that I, I have that game purchased and saved. There we go. Purchase. These are all the games that I own. Uh, if you see something you guys like and want me to stream it, let me know. Uh, Dishonor was great. I should scroll down a little faster, but Lords of the Fallen was good. Mass Effect, I never beat that. I got to get the new Mortal Kombat 11. It looks amazing. I have Outlast 1 and 2. Haven't played either of those, but those are nuts. The PT trailer, when it first came out, was scary as shit. Can't even download it anymore. I should have never deleted it. Um, yeah, I do. I own Resident Evil, and I own Revelations too. See, it's right here. I just have to re-download it. Yeah, so I do own it. So we could play it if you guys want to see it. Um, I played it for a few minutes. So I was pretty sure that I owned it. I just had to I just had to make sure. There we go. Alright, guys, we're gonna get into this. We're gonna continue on. Nice unlockables. So we just did the parking garage and the underground. Oh yeah, Revelations 2 is a great story. Revelations 1 was good too on the boat. That was really good. That was really, really good. I like that. Uh, although Revelations 2 is quite a bit better.
Now, I'm a big PlayStation fanatic, but I'm going to be getting Xbox Series X in November, so I'm going to have it on day one. We're going to be doing some streaming as well. Yeah, I got Mafia 3, but I haven't beaten that either. Uh, Mafia 3, um, I think I played like half. It was a good game. I, I don't know why I stopped. I can't remember. I think I stopped playing Mafia because... If I remember correctly, I was in the middle of playing um, oh, Dishonored 2, and I really got bent on beating Dishonored 2. And I beat Dishonored 2 like eight times. Like legit eight or nine times. Oh, don't worry, Quincy. I'm going to go full screen. Um, so yeah, uh, got to go back to the police station. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to have to move my camera down just a smidge. Hold on. Let me just drag that camera down a bit. I'm just going to edit it so it's like not in the way. There we go. Should look a lot better now. Just, I don't, well, yeah, I think it's okay there. Or maybe I should put it on the right side, I don't know. Never thought about that. Maybe I'll move it just a little bit more. This so it's kind of like out of the way. There we go. There, I moved it over and made it a smidge smaller. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start heading back to the police station. Um, all right, here we go. Back to the police station we go. I did not get tired of Call of Duty. Um, I just figured we'd do some different things. Also... Silent Hill was the best survival horror. I think Silent Hill always beat Resident Evil. I think the first Silent Hill was the best. Silent Hill 2 is actually just about as good, but way better graphics. Silent Hill 3 was okay. Uh, after that, I lost all interest in it. But I think if you compare Resident Evil 2 to Silent Hill 2, I think Silent Hill 2 was a better survival horror game, but Resident Evil 2 was better action-based game. Um... This game wasn't as scary as Silent Hill. It just wasn't. Uh, and between Resident Evil and Silent Hill, the first ones, Silent Hill wins that. Definitely scarier. Silent Hill was always scarier. Yep, Drew, I beat Last of Us. Great game. Truly amazing game. Probably one of the greatest games I've ever played. That I think Last of Us goes in a list by itself. Um, I put Last of Us with Final Fantasy VII, Dragon Age Inquisition, um, Dishonored 2, and games like that. Those are like the top of the top. Where where did I come from when I came in here? Oh wait, no, that's the ladder leading back. I think I came this way. How the fu- Trying to figure out where I came from. Yeah, second one. Uh, uh, the horns, yeah. Um, the uh, second one is coming out this month, I think. I think I had to shift the bridge over. That's what I have to do. Oh, I can't. Well, how the hell do I get back? Wait, I'm trying to remember how to get back. So that's the save room. Oh, I think it's over there. Hold on. It's been a while since I backtracked. Or played this game for that matter. Back 
That's where I need to go. Don't, oh, man. I don't even know how to get back there to the, to the police station. Does this operate? No, nothing operates. How the hell do I get over there? It's quite annoying. I can't remember. See, I need to be up there. Yeah, that's where I gotta be, up there, to get back to the police station. Oh yeah, the shotgun does look good. Now, if only I could figure out how the hell to get back to the police station. I gotta move that bridge, but... The upstairs control panel is not allowing for that. And I honestly just can't remember how I did it in the original game. I can't believe I'm stuck here. What the fuck? The only way is back up. It's the only thing I can do, and that, that lever up there isn't working, so I can't do anything with it. See, the floor fell out, and there's no way... Like, I have to move the bridge, and it won't move. Oh, what's up, Drew? I appreciate that, buddy. I really do. Uh, see, I gotta... I need to move that bridge over. So something's not right. Either the power's not on, I missed something somewhere very important, because that bridge right there has to be moved over. And when I move it over, it comes down and allows me to run across that hallway right there. Um, but I don't know what's wrong. I can't move it. So something's not right. Because it needs to be down... It needs to be down here. I don't get it. Apparently, I'm not supposed to be heading back yet. I've missed something somewhere. I may have to go back to the parking garage. Because when I come back this way, I'm supposed to be able to head back to the police station. See, that bridge right there slides over here. No, I did not ask to go down there. And it fills in this spot right here so that I can go across. Um, yeah, this is not working. We're pretty much stuck. We're pretty much stuck until I can figure out what's going on here. And it could take a while because the only way back is to move that bridge and that bridge ain't moving. So we're not going to be able to go back to the police station. And I don't know what I missed, because in the original game, I can move it. See, I've searched everything, but I've definitely missed something. have to retrace every step I made. That's the only thing I don't like about this game. 
Yeah, police station's bad. <laughs> if you miss one thing and then you can't progress. Even trivial stuff. And apparently I've missed something very critical in the um, in the parking garage because I can't get back. There's no way back. And there's no way forward because what I the things that I need to continue are in the police station, which means I've missed one critical component. So which means we have to go back. We have no choice. Oh man, what did I miss? I don't, I can't remember if there was a key when I first played it. I just know that the bridge has to go over there. That's where I need to go to get back to the police station right there. Which means there's no backtracking. So apparently we have to, yeah, we have to go back to the, un, the, the garage. I missed something in the, the parking garage because there's no way back here. The machine won't activate, see? So there's there's no way to go back. So I definitely missed something. And going back to the police station needs to obviously happen through the parking garage. What's up, Devante? Be sure to check out the other channel, Circle Triangle Square. That's the gaming channel. Um, I'm just changing my battery settings here. For some reason, my laptop's been like dimming the screen. I have no idea why. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we got to go back. We've definitely got to go back. This is the only way uh, back into the parking garage. And apparently from here, we've got to get back to the police station, which seems to be impossible because I've searched this area a bunch of times. But we did just go back to the underground and there's no way back, none. Which means somehow between that underground area I was just at and the parking garage that I'm at now, there's something missing because we can't go anywhere. Oh yeah, must that's what I just did. I kept dimming my display and trying to shut it off. Which I couldn't see the comments. Hope we're doing well, bro, by the way. Alright, so gotta be very diligent with the searching. Because I've missed something critical. I don't have the card yet, so we know we can't open that. This door's locked, so we can't open that door. All we can do is go through the jail, which there's nothing there, or over here. So I gotta figure out what it is that I've missed. I was tired last night, so. I must have missed something. Uh, so we're going to go down here and search everything. We're going to go this way first. Very slowly. I've overlooked something very small, guys. Very small. Um, small enough that nobody in the stream noticed it either. None of us noticed it. So that, that's what's preventing us from getting back. Whether that may be a key or a cutscene storyline, something like that. Yeah, for sure. Something's definitely happened here. Um, and it's going to be something really dumb. Like, really dumb. And I'm going to laugh at myself over it. Something maybe I didn't have room to pick up. That might be possible. Um, so nothing here. We've cleared this room. 
We'll clear the firing range. This room had zombies in it originally, so I didn't search it too well. But I did kill the bobblehead. I haven't said bobblehead since Fallout. That game's notorious for it. So we've cleared the firing range. So we need to go back here somewhere. Um, and we need to go through the kennels and the Morgan generator and see what we're missing. Because we're definitely missing something. I hate backtracking, I really do. I do have the car key, Frost. I just don't know which car to open. I checked them all. Well, there's a door over there. It's probably the door we're going to. Alrighty. You missed it, Frost, last night when I was in the stream. I killed all the dogs in the kennel because I had a feeling they were going to come out, and sometimes they do, especially when you, like, aren't expecting it. So I killed them all. They're all dead. Let's see. What did I miss? Oh, man. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh God, Drew, be safe, man. I hope you're uh, hope you're safe, buddy. Deer are no joke, but they're no match for a semi. Okay, this is the morgue. Let's go search the morgue. Okay, we can't open that one. This one has nothing. That one won't open either. We close that one. Close that one. Make sure we didn't miss nothing. It's really scary. It just started raining. My whole house started shaking with the wind. Oh my god. That was scary while I'm playing this game. Okay, it's safe to say I missed nothing. Yep, nothing is missed. Okay, so there we go. There's nothing here. Now we're in the generator room. Let's make sure we didn't miss nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> Being in the woods ain't no good during a storm and while playing Resident Evil. I'm hoping I missed something. Like, there it is. 
Yep. I missed this. Boom. That's what I missed last night. Oh, son of a... What the... F oh my god, he's climbing the... <laughs> what the heck? No, oh my god! <laughs> That's freaky. Oh my god, this friggin' dog. Woo! That was scary. See, I knew I missed something last night. I know, right? Let me go back here and examine. I think I put the key in the box. Because I couldn't find the appropriate car just yet. Oh yeah, I got my shotgun ready. And my pistol. That means the prison should have power. But I don't know. See, the dogs come out. Oh shoot. My damn screen is auto-dimming. What the heck? I gotta change the battery settings here. For some reason, my, my battery keeps trying to put the screen to sleep. I'm trying to figure out how to turn that crap off. Let me see if I can... Uh... It wasn't doing that last night either. Let's see if I can turn this off. Um, I just turned all the battery saving stuff off. I don't I don't even know. There. That should solve the problem. Yeah, for some reason it kept wanting to put everything to sleep. I don't see how those dogs came, came out. I killed them. Looks a lot better down here with lights, I'll tell you what. Okay, so this is over where the fire escape was where I was earlier.
There we go. Uh, what do I need? <sighs> Nothing right now. There we go. Yeah, it really sucks because I wasn't expecting them to come out. I thought I was on top of that, but apparently not. <laughs> Uh, more ammunition coming up. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Where does that go again? Let's examine that. Oops. Um, the break room hallway. I'm trying to remember where I needed that from. Where is the hallway that I would need shutters? I guess we'll have to run into it when we do. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm getting magnum ammo, which means we're about to get the magnum very soon. In fact, maybe I should have already had it. God, you know what? I'm gonna have to load my last save. I'm not wasting those. I'm gonna need those for the tyrant. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to load back. I definitely don't want to be wasting, uh, I don't want to waste both of those because those are going to save me when, when Mr. X and the Tyrant are around. Don't want to be wasting two stun grenades on just regular zombies. Okay. We'll just save over. Yeah, for sure, Frost. For sure. So. Now we'll do this again properly. Ah, I didn't miss that one. 
Back up. What the heck? Come on. Guy doesn't want to die. What the hell? Damn it. Crap, wasted 30 rounds here. Just on three zombies. Now we're back in the police station. Should have ran past those. So we can't go to the collection room or the chief's office or hallway. We gotta go up or down. Let's go down. I don't wanna waste ammo. I really don't. There's rooms in the mansion I couldn't get into. There's a heart key over here in the records room. There is some spade keys that I couldn't get into at some point or another. A dialogue in the shower, which I'll find later. See the linen room. Got to go back to the star's office. Okay, so I definitely got to go back that way. A 
I got more mag ammo now. I don't have a club key either. So I can't do any of these doors yet. I don't want to waste ammo. Oh, this is where the other circuitry is in the clock tower. For the uh, the jail cell to get the card key. So we, we're going to be able to do that now. Gotta save as much ammo as I can. Still wasted a couple of bullets. Shotgun's looking pretty strong right about now. Okay, another heart key. Go down here first, then we'll go back to the main hall. Oh, I should never have done that. That was stupid. What's up, Kenny? What's up, bro? I'll be playing Warzone in a, a bit once I finish up with this. Oh, there's a jack handle. Oh, never mind. No, it's not. I reroute the water over there.
forget how this is done. Combine both our herbs. We'll go back there in a minute. I wasn't sure if that changed this. Oh, it did. There we go. Alright, we can go back to the mansion now. We just got to go down to the boiler room first. Oh, the club key. Nice. Let me just, I almost dropped that when I could just store stuff in the box. We'll store the mag ammo. We don't need it yet. So where is the club key that I need it? Right there. Need to get back up the stairs and get back around the chopper. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, I hate it when the doors fly open. Don't worry, guys. I'll be playing Warzone, though. I'm just doing some survival horror RPG stuff, changing it up just a little bit. You just got to get back over to those rooms and then get back to the star's office. Oh, son of a... Jesus Christ! Not happening. Fuck that. No way. Not happening. Oh, son of a... <laughs> I thought he was supposed to come down and drop him out of a chopper. One of those, like, pods. 
Oh my god, what am I going to do? Fly is right. Look, maybe if... This is not the Tyrant, guys. This guy doesn't stop. The Tyrant, you can damage. You can't damage this guy. He does not stop. Which means I'm going to have to stun him, maybe. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, I've equipped my grenade. Fuck this guy, he's chasing me. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Wait, I can't remember which way am I trying to go again. Um, there is a red herb there that I might want to go back for. Um, fire escape is, I'm trying to remember what's downstairs. No, I'm gonna... Do you hear us put... Like his foot stomping. Or is that... Am I just hearing things? Maybe I'm just hearing things. <sighs> Sound like it. Oh shit! Fucking son of a bitch! Oh god, I need to get the hell out of here. That guy is scary as all fucking hell. Ugh. I gotta get the. I need out. I need out. I... No, I don't need that blue herb. Oh, that door's locked? Oh, shh. I messed up, guys. Would you get the hell out of here? No one cares about you. Oh, it takes two. Oh, my God. Oh my god, get the fuck off me! I'm trying to fight Mr. X. Like, I can't fight me. No, oh, yeah, that's wonderful. I'm trying to fight him and the zombies just making life difficult. It's just like bad enough I'm fighting Mr. X. Alright. Observation room. There's no way out of the observation room. So I'm trapped again with Mr. X.
Oh, there's where the jewel goes. It's a dongle for the computer in the stars room. I'm starting to remember this stuff. This crazy. Six to eleven. Must be the uh, code for the safe. I think I'm going to wait for Mr. X here. Because if Mr. X comes down here, um, I can I can throw the stun grenade to the room. It'll stun him. I'll jump over and run past him. But I don't know if he's going to actually come down this far. See, he won't come in here because I have an advantage in this room. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. Oh, wait a minute. It says the cog or the spare crank has got a check mark. So I can discard that. Oh, son of a bitch. And he still hits me. I don't, he didn't do very much damage. Maybe this is the safe right here. messed up again. Why do I keep hitting the left trigger? 6 to 11 was it? That's it. The Matilda, if I remember correctly, is the, the gun that you need to beat Mr. X or the Tyrant. And I don't think he'll come in the main hallway. <laughs> oh my god. So, there's a lot of rooms. The star's office is one of them. And the linen's room through the lounge. So I'm going to go through... 
the second floor library here and go to the lounge because there's a linen room I have to go in. Marvin. Oh no. Damn it. I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. I hear him walking. Oh my god. I don't remember where the large gear goes. I don't think I need that till I get to the clock tower. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm trying to remember the game from a long time ago. Uh, and I'm going to put the Matilda stuff in the box because I don't need it. And I don't think I need the gear yet. So... Where is he? I hear him. What the f This is this is not happening. Fuck this. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh... The stairs. Any room with red. Means I haven't done something. So. I want to go to the operations room. Uh, or this room. Uh, forget that. This is not good. Something's going on in the shower room, but I don't have a code for that yet. To get to the star's office. All the zombies are back. can't come in this room. I know that for a fact.
can he come in here? Okay, I've done everything in here. So the shower room's got a key. I gotta go out here and go over to the linen room, but the linen room's a dead end. And so I'm not gonna go to the linen room because I'm gonna have to fight him with no weapons. Um, I also gotta get some gunpowder out of the lounge and get back to the main hallway. Man, I only got three rounds for this gun. I'm in bad shape. I'm in real bad shape. I feel like he hears the noise, so if I don't make any noise whatsoever, then he won't know where I am. All right, the diamond key is useless. I got some good handgun ammo. We're good there. Let's get this. Uh... Stupid pattern stuff. Got it. Oh, another spare key. Fantastic. So where was that room again? Security deposit room. If I go back to the library into the ladder, it'll take me to the third floor, the second floor. It's on the first floor. And the records room I got to get to. Club key right there.
That was where he chased me before. It's by the security deposit room. Uh... The records room is easy to get to. It's from the reception room. And the security deposit room is on the other side. You gotta go all the way through there. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna try to make it there. He's gonna chase me though. This is what's gonna be like crazy. Um I can either go to the library. What do you what do you think, Frost? Uh, through the lounge or do I go back to the shower room to the main hallway to where my box is and try to go down the stairs uh, to the first floor and then I'm by the dark yeah that's probably the easier way oh man Yeah, I know, right, Ryan? Can't remember if anybody told me where the code was. We're in the safe room. Literally, the save room and the safe room. All at the same damn time. Alright, we're going to take some herbs out. see if that I can't remember if it works there we go Alright, so we did that. Let's go check the film. DCM. Alright, let's go up to the third floor. Oh, he's back again. He's back again. Gonna have the Magnum, the Matilda, and the shotgun. I'm ready to go. Wish I had the rocket launcher. I really do. I don't want to make any shots or make noise because that's how he hears me. At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, son of a...
Wait, what? What was the code again? DCM. Okay, makes sense. Oh, that's a wrong locker. That's the second floor. It's right there. There we go. You don't give up, do you? Um, get down to the first floor here in a minute and then we're going to go over here to this the operations and security deposit room and get over to the records room and then we're getting closer I don't want to waste any ammo or health there we go He's gonna bust out of a wall or something, I just know it. Shit. Another pouch. I do have two knives, which is good. So regular zombies, I don't have to waste ammo. I'm very happy about that. Okay, now I just need to figure out Here we go, got my health back. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go over here and here to the operations room to try to get all the way around and get down to the records room. Because uh, we've done everything besides the reception, operations, and records room. Oh my god.
There's still something in here because the room is red. Oh, there we go. Got it. Room is cleared. Liquors are coming. Oh, there's that tool for the library. Oh, damn. Get to this reception room. Okay. There's something obviously in the reception room too that I have to get. So let's see if we can figure that out. Oh, right there. There we go. It's clear. We've now cleared the whole first floor except over here by the press room. Now we got it like go back to the library. Club key is done. All right, boys. We're looking good. What we're going to do now, the plan is to go to the library, move that over so I can get to the other door. Once we do that, we're going to go over to the clock tower with the gear. We're going to get something else. Um, and then we have to get down to the jail and eventually get the card key. That's still a ways out. Um, let's see. Library, library. We're going to go upstairs. Oh, son of a bitch. This is not happening. Oh, my God. He can't get in the library, I don't think. Or Kenny? I don't know. Kenny? If he comes in here, I'm going to lose my mind. He's gonna climb the ladder. You gotta be shitting. He's gonna climb the ladder. Frost, can he come down this hallway? Because I sure as hell hope not. No! Go away, guys. Come on. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, 
But I don't have the gear. I left it in the box. I wonder, Frost, can he get in this room? I gotta get my knife back. I don't think he can come in here. So the little gear goes over there. I get this. It's the bell. Okay, and over here is another gear. All right. He's going to break through a wall. I just know it. I have lots of handgun ammo, guys. There actually was a game called Clock Tower from the same people who made um, Dark Souls. Okay, we gotta go out there and get the herb and get my knife back. And we gotta go to the east storage room. Or we gotta go back down here to the library and we, we gotta get my stuff. And he's just gonna sit out there and wait for me? What a turd. Oh, I can use this to my advantage. I don't know if I can hit him. He's bulletproof. Should have known that. Uh, what am I going to do? I got to get to the storage room. I can't even go out there because he's waiting for me. 
He keeps acting like he's leaving. I don't have any flash left. I used them all. We're going to wait for him to walk away. That's what we're going to have to do here. We're going to wait for him to walk away. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. I don't know. We'll have to see. It sounds silent to me. He left. The storage room has nothing for me. I got to go back. Oh, he's over there. All right, we're good. my knife back but I, I know it's not possible because it's gonna give uh, it's gonna give off like my location to him I know it He's just floating around the damn police station casually. Just floating around, looking for things to kill, stuff to destroy. I got lots of space now. No complaints like last night. I need to get a small gear though. Oh my god, this is gonna be nuts. This is gonna be nuts. There we go, I got another... He saw me. I'm going to be one gear short, though. I need two unless I can move them.
Oh, it won't fit. Oh, it's the battery. I need that. Makes sense now. I remember that. That battery. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I did not see that, Frost. Alright, so we're going to go put this cog in and we're going to get our butts the hell out of here. Now what? There we go. There's that spare part I need for the jail. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. Now we gotta go back to the underground. Looked like a battery before, I don't know why. Thinking of Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Need to get over to the storage room and get over here as quick as I can. He's got my knife. Thank you for giving my knife back. I need my knife. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. The not I thought the knife was equipped. Well, there goes my only grenade to fight Mr. X. I'm screwed. And he's coming that way. Yep, there he is. Gonna have to go through the whole police station to avoid this guy.
Oh, he's up there. Good. You can stay up there for all I care. Oh, that's right, all this closed up. So in order to get back to the underground, it brought me out on this side of the hallway, uh, outside. So I gotta get back where the chopper is, where the fire escape and stuff. Let's save first. It is 12.18 for me too, Ham. I think Frost right now, it's like 9 o'clock. Like 9.12. Okay. Wrong area. Shouldn't be here. There's the stairs right there. Trying to remember how to get back. Oh, it's these stairs right here. So third floor. I'm trying to remember how to get back. I don't remember. Oh my god, how do I forget this? This just happened like a little while ago. The basement right here leads right here by the boiler room on the first floor. And I'm on the third floor. What's up, Jason? War zone's always fun. I'm just trying to beat this right here. <laughs> Do the long play on it. Um, let me see. It's by the break room. 
And the boiler room is where it, well, no, that doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to figure out how the hell to get back. Oh yeah, wait, wait. Uh, no, that won't. That's not right. Um, I think it was in the break room area. That's where I'm going. Yeah, that's exactly where it took me a minute to remember. Yep, this is it. Should have known. We'll just save right there. We can leave Mr. X in the police station. I don't give a damn. He can stay there for all I care. I don't care if I ever see him again. Oh shit. These are all gonna swing open. I just know it. Things are about to get real. circuitry.
There we go. Like a Honda to get the spray. Yeah. Has to go straight to your underground lab. Now, are you going to talk to me? Are you going to? The interview is over. Bitch. Knew it. That's not good. Oh, Give son a of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck away from me. I'm fucking screwed. I'm fucking screwed. There's no way. There's 20 zombies. I'm so fucking screwed. There's no way. I have nothing. I have no grenades. I got no stun grenades. I got nothing. I'm gonna have to shoot my way out while getting beat up by him in the in the hopes that I have enough ammo to take them all out. Oh, this is so stupid. Yeah, get off me. yeah, I'm already half dead. He's only touched me once. I'm done. No way out. There we go. Just got killed. There is absolutely no way. I'm surprised he's even alive. I can't even get to the menu screen. This is stupid. This is stupid. Like, what am I supposed to do? This is not Call of Duty. Like, why would they put me in that position? I'm, I don't even know how I survived that. Now he's alive, huh? Shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. You're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. Oh, she blew him off. He ain't dead. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Let's get out of here.
that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Oh wow, now the shotgun just got real OG. I've got lots of handgun ammo. Uh, the shotgun ammo and mag ammo are okay. I'm doing good health-wise. I just need to find a couple of grenades. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't. Oh, here's the move. pawn shop owner from the original Resident Evil 2. Ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you all. You gotta turn around, and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? That's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy? She's gonna bite him. Those fucking things outside. Look what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was a sweet little angel. Mom. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Privacy. Uh, probably the worst scene you know, in the entire game. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in.
Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Who's having and a good time in the stream? You guys enjoying it? She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. This is where we have run-ins with the tyrant. A lot of them. I like, can't imagine a real scientist being down here. More than I want. HQ. This leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. Oh god, this. The, the friggin' giant alligator. I remember that. <laughs> oh my god. Well, here goes nothing. Come on, Ada. Let's go. I know I'm not dumb enough to fall for this FBI gimmick stuff. Mrs. Ada Wong. Yeah, when we escape, we've got to fight the uh, the alligator right here in order to make it back. Because we're coming back and, like, we're probably, like, 80% of the game now. The rest is all boss battling and, Again? like, crazy back, stuff. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Uh, peace out, Jason. Thanks so much for stopping in. We're going to get back to some Call of Duty tomorrow and maybe some more Resident Evil 3, if I can beat this game tonight, that is. Oh god, here it goes. You sure this is the right way? Gonna be fighting the alligator here. Wait there. Oh no, 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 no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's swearing too. What the fuck is that shit? That doesn't make any sense. I guess when he chomps, I have to move.
Dude, that doesn't make any sense at all. It does nothing like the original. Yeah, I know, right? You're of no help, Ada. None whatsoever. You have not helped me one bit. You suck. Doing this all by myself. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Let's see if Ada will jump down first and let that let that woman die instead of me. The hell with her. Go on, Ada, go. Go. I tried to push her, it didn't work. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. I guess I gotta, Wait there. when I'm running, as soon as he goes to bite, I gotta quickly dodge or something, I guess. Like that, how I moved out of the way. Nope. I'm missing something here, guys. Big time. Because there's nothing I can do except go left or right, and it doesn't work. So something's not right here. I wish Ada would do something and stop being lazy. Again? It's not too late to turn back. No chance. You're stuck with me. I gotta figure out what button it is to dodge. That's what I need to do. I tried uh, pressing buttons, it didn't dodge. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Again, third time, guys. Third time. Oh. No, that didn't work. Holy shit! There's no dodge button. I've touched every single button on the controller. There's no dodge button at all. Can't do anything. All he can do is run. And I can't move out of the way, so I don't know what the fuck. Maybe it's a game glitch, but it's not letting me dodge. I pressed every button. Nothing's happening, so could be here for a while because this keeps happening. There's nothing else I can do. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. 
No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. I wish I could... There we go. I was just about to say skip the cuts. See, I'm trying to figure out how to dodge right now. Died instantly. How, I don't understand how they could expect anybody to play this game the first playthrough and not die when there's no dodge button. Doesn't say. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a while. Because until I can figure out what button dodges, we're gonna be doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe there is no again. button to dodge. Maybe I've gotta use the joystick and move left and right. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Holy shit! Nope, see, it didn't work. There's no button to dodge, none. This is not working out at all. Could be here for quite some time. This is going to chew up a lot of the game time, too. This is only like an eight-hour game, max. And we're going to probably chew some time here. Because if I can't dodge, I have to keep running down this hallway to figure out what button is to move or whatever. Yeah, I think there's no dodge button. I think it's left and right. Chance, you're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Holy shit! Okay, makes sense. Pattern. I was crazy. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. All the swearing in this game is crazy. It really is. It's nuts. Bobblehead. Leon, up here. What the hell was? Just get up here. <laughs> New shoes. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. What's up, Tyler? Welcome to the live stream. Everybody be sure to check over on the other channel, Circle Triangle Square. Gotta get it to a thousand subscribers. We'll do the game streams over there eventually. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous.
Well, there we go. Definitely will use it. Identify yourself. Network. Her husband's the one that uh, looking for? is the tyrant. Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? What's up, Chris? Hey. Stop! Stop. Hey, no. You'll never get the G virus! Is it just me, or does Annette look like the character was portrayed, or the actor that portrayed her was Charlotte Flair? Leon. <laughs> From WWE, it literally Just looks go. like her. Stop her before she gets away. <sighs> this is where we play as Ada. I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of Annette. Yeah, Frost, for sure. Spot on her? Must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. Oh, my God, she has nothing. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. And Leon had a bulletproof vest. She's a lot faster than than Leon is. Secret weapon time. Ah, that was pretty cool. Candy from a baby. Guy doesn't want to die.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not wasting no more bullets. What the heck is that? Okay, I gotta find the power source. It's gonna be hard to do this. She's done. I can't do all this electrical shit with these guys floating around. <laughs> She's still alive! Nah. There's no way I can dodge all these zombies while doing this. Not with no health, either. What the? She's got a whack gun, I'll tell you that. I gotta get back here. It's over there. Yep. All right now. Give me some ammo for God's sakes. All right, some health will be good too. She's pretty quick, though. It's an advantage, but she's also weak and has nothing, so. There we go. Got you now. Always been good at running, Annette. I'll give you that. Assistant bastard, aren't you? Oh, son of a.
I gotta think of what I'm gonna do. I gotta stun him. This is where I came from. Oh my god, how am I gonna dodge this guy now? Oh, this is stupid. This is beyond stupid. I'm dead. I have nothing. Literally nothing. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> She's so dumb. She gotta kick her heels off for sure. Now what is in this room? Oh wait. Keep forgetting I got this. Get out of here. I couldn't wait to do that. <laughs> I really could. At least with Leon, he's got stuff. Like, I mean, she does have the hack device that worked out there. All right, so we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. That was pretty scary, because she's weak. Let's see, where are we? He's going to be back. He's going to be back. I think we have to put Mr. X in the incinerator, if I'm not mistaking it. Oh, crap. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. 
You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. This can be a puzzle, watch. Metal Gear is great. Visitor clearance confirmed. Your ID is authorized and... Tell October 1st. Please return before this date. Not gonna happen. Nuts. I can only imagine what's going to happen next. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. What's up, Tell Quentin? Me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. Yeah, it's Charlotte Flair trying to kill me. I'll get a sample from oh the nest. my god. Over my dead body. Looks like we're gonna go rescue her. Gonna complete Nina. this game tonight. Gonna do it. We're gonna move on to Resident Evil 3 and Final Fantasy 7. Of course, with some intermittent breaks of Warzone and stuff like that. Now we gotta find Ada. Ada is over here. So we gotta go to the end of the hallway. Actually, you no, know, wait, that's not gonna work. Ada, where are you? Gonna have to take the long way.
This game's great. This game is really great. It's so much better than the original in a lot of ways. Uh, but the original's still the original. So it's hard to be better than the original, truly. I mean, there's a lot of things about it that are better, but the nostalgia is still there for the original. But I couldn't play the original again, I don't think, after playing this. Oh, no. I, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. That's a pleasant smell. Hey, look on the bright side. At least Mr. X can't come down here, right? I believe this is where we fight another alligator. I could be wrong. I just feel like there's another one. Ah, it splits. Zombies can pop up out of the water at any time. That is not fun. So I gotta keep my eye everywhere here. Oh, shoot. Not wasting my ammo on you, guy. Okay, now, hold on. Hold up. Okay, so, here's what we're gonna do. Look, I don't know if you guys know this. Um, I wanted to talk about this right quick. We're gonna take a quick, like, break here from the game, just for a couple seconds. What really reminded me, you see this guy right here? Okay, true Resident Evil fans will remember that in Resident Evil 2, one of the SWAT members that looks like that was named Hunk. And it was like a hidden kind of uh, story mode for Resident Evil 2. And I don't know if we're going to get the unlockable for this game to play as Hunk, but you could play as him in Resident Evil 2 for PS one and back in the day that was a big accomplishment now i don't know if hunk is going to be in this but somewhere coming up it's going to explain how hunk tried to stop the tyrant and got killed um and he's the most epic swat member in resident evil storyline he's a really bad dude like real bad but he went one-on-one -on -one with the tyrant now i don't know the whole story there but there's a lot that goes into that you know um kind of spinoff. There's a lot of websites and uh, groups on Resident Evil back in the day, uh, 15 years ago or more, where people were trying to figure out more about Hunk and learn the story behind it. And that reminded me of it when I just saw that uh, SWAT guy on the ground. So I, we might be coming up to something like that. All right. I just wanted to explain that. If you guys remember, let me know if you remember. That sure as hell does look like hunk. All right. What's up, Scarface? Oh, it needs a key. We need a key, we need a key. Wait, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh man, the wind is blowing hard. There's a door at the end of the hall. What the?
Oh, that was Hunk, huh? Damn, Hunk was, like, legendary character in Resident Evil 2. Kinda okay, where to go, where to go. Gotta go back, I think. I think I have to go back through the sewers. I don't know at this point. I should have ran across before I took this damn thing out. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I gotta go across the room first. Got my knife. I wish the knife lasted forever. That's good to hear. We're getting closer to uh, Ada. But Mr. X and the Tyrant are on the loose. Well, so much for my knife. No more knife. Yeah, that happened. Oh yeah, I agree, Scarface, for sure. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to see that. Interesting. The cable car is what goes to the basement where we fight the tyrant. Oh, bad memories right there.
Damn, that code. Uh. like the sound of that. Looks like they're loading me up and a save. So things are about to get bad. <laughs> they're going to get really bad. I just know it. I can just tell. Even though this has changed from the original based on what's happening here. Oh my god, The Last of Us is better than Resident Evil. It's the best game ever for that kind of genre. Wow, there's Hunk. See, I told you guys there was footage coming up of Hunt. Those rats spread it. I appreciate that, buddy, for stopping in and hitting the like button. You should watch a little bit. It's going to be fun. I still didn't check the police car with the key, though. Yeah, I can go out that door, but can I go out the other door? Oh, there's no other door. Never mind. Oh, this is the Rook and Knight. Yeah. Okay, this makes sense. I remember this. So here it begins. Uh, Rook and Knight are on the same wall. And the Queen and the Rook are opposite. And the Queen and the Bishop aren't next to each other. So the Queen and the Bishop aren't next to each other. Um, 
when the queen and the rook are opposite. Okay, so let's see. The rook and knight are on the same wall, which means that the rook has got to be one of these and the queen would have to be, well, that says pawn right there. So that means queen is one of these. So that means the rook would have to be here. That's the bishop. So that means the queen would have to be, one of those is the rook, which means one of these is the queen, but considering that this is the pawn, that doesn't make any sense. It, it would almost make sense the bishop goes over here. And then the queen would go over here, and the rook would go over here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it was definitely great. So Ada got the other chess piece, or the other door key, or whatever you want to call it. I appreciate that super slow, bro. Um, I'm gonna read this one more time. Rook and Knight are on the same wall, Bishop and queen, uh, and the bishop and queen aren't next to each other. The queen and rook are opposite too. Okay, so that's the knight right there. So the queen can't be here because he's got to be across on the rook. And the rook is going to be one of those two. And the bishop is not next to the queen, it says. So that means... That says pawn... So the queen would have to be there. Which means the bishop goes over here. See? Because that's where the rook is going to go. And the queen's going to go right there. And we can put the pawn back where it belongs. So we're looking for a queen and a rook. And that's it, I believe. Uh, yeah, we're missing some plugs. Eight has got one. All right, so off we go. Yep, super slow. Definitely encountered those. Be sure to check out Circle Triangle Square because there's going to be a lot of pre-order games on that channel. Trying to get it to 1,000 subscribers, then I'll be switching over. Um... More puzzles.
making sure I'm not missing any. Oh, there's a safe here. Now I don't want a blue herb. Let's see, where are we? There's two ways to go. Um, I think the door might be the right way, but let me just double check over here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's the tool that I needed. ID wristband required for cable car entry. I think this is the way I came, didn't I? Yeah, it is. The cable car is where we're going to be getting out of here, but then the tyrant's going to, like, try to kill us. Really don't want to waste ammo. Oh boy. I'm not sure why they made it like that. Got lots of herbs. We should be okay on health. Why do you keep jumping down, Leon? That's not what I wanted. was that I have to decide which way to go come back to that in just a minute.
I guess we go over there to the the left. Oh, son of a... I knew this would happen. have to go through there again. Oh wow, can't do anything with that. There we go. There's the rook. Now we're just missing the queen. Oh, SZF is the code for the safe, which would be right. Where is it? I don't remember where it was. Right there. I don't want to like throw stuff away, but I need gunpowder and ammo. Ah, that sucks. Um, Oh wow, I didn't even see that. You guys pretty fit now with stuff. 
Okay, now we're doing good. Can fit more stuff. <laughs> Who would have thought I would get another pouch? It's already got like, like all the spaces I got. It was crazy. Ah, uh, man. All right. Let's go put this rook in. I can go back and check. I'll do that right now. But it's not red in here. Oh, you mean the other locker room. You're right, we could go check it out. Might as well. Oh, you're right. Good thinking. That's good stuff. Very, very slick. That was very, very slick right there. I forgot about that. They're giving me lots of ammo and health. And that scares me because I know what they're going to be doing here. How do I open that again? I'm trying to remember what key does that. It obviously wanted me to get that, but I don't have the key for it. Oh, this is back to the police station. At least going back towards it. Yeah, this is going to take us back out of the the underground. I don't think we should be going back up this way right now. Yeah, it's definitely not. I gotta try to remember. Hey, why did I come back this way? Um, gotta get back to where I was before and get that rook put in. Gotta find the queen, too. Yeah, maybe I ever. Uh, I thought it. Let me see. I 
I wonder if it's the badge. Because like, I'm trying to remember the game. Oh, it is. Okay. That's good. Thanks to those uh, hints that reminded me of the game. Or reminded me of the original game. Because it's similar, I'm pretty sure. I never thought about that right now, though. So it was definitely helpful. Um... Nice. Oh, my inventory's full. What the? F oh, wait a minute. I discarded a herb and I didn't need it. I only needed it once. Damn it. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Well, with the Magnum, the way I've got it set up, it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be very hard now to take enemies out with that very powerful gun that I've got. I need to go this way. I gotta turn left and go past all the crap. again oh my god come on well there goes a grenade I could have used on the tyrant Back up there. Oh my god. This is getting worse.
What? I used all my shotgun shells. As long as I got lots of magnum, I should be okay. Wait a minute. Oh my god, is that a flamethrower or a rocket launcher? There's the queen. Wait a minute. I don't have a king plug. So I take it I've got to have the king plug to put there so that when I pull the queen plug, it opens this door. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh my god, I want that. Let me try something. It says king. That was worth a shot. There we go. There's another king plug to get to that. Oh, come on. It's got to be up here somewhere. Shit. 
Oh, there, that's probably it right there. Yep. Oh well. Looks like we're about to get a, a big weapon that's gonna help us for sure. A flamethrower. Oh my god. We're gonna <laughs> need to get some space here. Alright, so we're gonna need two. And then I need one extra space. Let's take this first. Alrighty. Now we need to take this back. Oh, man. Hmm. I can get rid of the badge. It's taken up room and don't need it. It's got a check mark. So we'll discard that. We'll get that back. Um now what do we do? We can't discard the herbs. That doesn't make no sense. What do you guys think? I got to get rid of something else here. Oh, man. See, now I've got all the pawn or all the pieces. Stay down. I don't know what's on that roll of film. Uh, and the grenade's going to help me survive. Let's take a vote, guys. Right now, everybody watching, vote. Do I get rid of the film or do I get rid of the grenade? That's the key here. Got to figure out which one to get rid of. So let's take a vote. See what you guys think. I don't know. That's a tough one. The grenade's going to save my life. So I don't think the, the roll of film is going to be of much help. Yeah, everybody's thinking the film. Oh, you can't discard it. What? It won't let me discard the film. Oh my God. Okay, this just got interesting. How far away is the box from here? I can't remember. You see, going back here, climbing the ladder, going across here, up the stairs would bring me here then I gotta go to this door all the way across to the box
Man, this is tough. Wait a minute, um... So I put the queen one in there. This is confusing. This is very confusing. I take the queen, it's going to lock me in. Peace out, Hamp. Yup, yup, for sure. Oh my god, how am I gonna get out of here with the queen? What the f This is crazy. I have, there's no way to do it without having both. Yeah, because what I need to do is put the queen in that one, go get the king, come back and pick up the queen, then go put the king over there. It ain't, it ain't worth messing around. I'm gonna have to get rid of some herbs or a grenade. There's just no way around that. That was inevitable.
Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot the king. <laughs> oh, my God. For, for a minute there, I was wondering, like, what I was forgetting. I just didn't think about it when I left. I don't know why. Shouldn't have picked up that red herb. Even with all this inventory space, it's still not enough. Because the guns take up two slots. Well, this is the ultimate escape. We're trying to head down the trolley car now. This is all some epic battle stuff is about to begin. And the flamethrower is pretty much the weapon to get the job done, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. You gotta go the other way. What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Climb up. I had X like 20 times. There we go. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Son of a biatch. Is there a blue herb up there? Thought I saw one. I got lots in the box, but I don't want to waste any health. Thought I saw a blue herb. Need this toxin out. Nope. Okay, Leon, let's go, guy. Slowing everything up here. <coughs> oh my god, this is gonna be a pain. 
There's a blue herb right there. We should be all right. Oh my God. I've killed that guy three times. He keeps coming back. Legitimately, I've killed him like more times I can count. Every time I go by, I'm shooting him. Come on, guy. Let's go. There's the blue herb right there. <laughs> okay, good to go. This guy again. This guy don't give up, man. Jeez. I need more shotgun shells, and I don't think I can refill the flamethrower. So, yeah. Let's put the roll of film in there. Let's get it the hell out of my way. All right, let's do this. The rook is obviously gonna go in here. And the queen's gonna go in here. And King's gonna go over here. Not bad, right, guys? I've done that once before. Many, many years ago. Okay. Almost All there. Right. I'm gonna take that just in case I get poisoned. There we go. Damn it. Need the power on first. There we go. That's going to cure my health and the poison and, and fill me up completely. Let's play chess again. There we go. Oh my God. Jesus Christ! Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I guess it's flamethrower time. God. Oh 
Oh my god, he got through all of that? I thought I would burn him. You know what's funny? As scary as the Tyrant is, I still find uh, Mr. X scarier. What about you guys? Mr. X is so slow and methodical, it just drives me insane. wasn't supposed to do that. Now I get it. That's not the same as the original, and I killed myself, but whatever. I'm not going to waste a flamethrower this time. <sighs> I got to down him while using that, so I got to down him like where I was. So I'm going to try to down him in the corner. Oh my god, caution already. Last time he hit me, I I didn't die that fast. Come over here. There we go. Gotcha. Now I got you. Eat this. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, never mind. I thought it didn't hit him. I thought it missed. Looks like it missed. Just the way it was. Uh... Oh, shit. Did I do it again? Oh, my God. I don't know if that's going to hit him. He might be too far. Got him, yeah. Alright, alright, we got him, we got him. More handgun ammo. I want some Magnum and shotgun ammo. Please, please give me some shotgun ammo. Oh wait, mag ammo? What the? Where's the mag ammo? Ooh. Absolutely. I don't mind if I do. All right. I take it we're going to the door. Go get Ada. There's gonna be something else here. Ada. Ada, where are you? Over here. I know, right? He's always falling down in pits. 
Gee, the boss is pretty cool. I like variety. Oh yeah, for sure. The variety of fights is good. It reminds me of uh, Resident Evil Revelations uh, 2, which is really great game. Really great. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Hold on. Now we're even, Ada. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? So, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. While well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we're going to the lab. Uh, super slow, bro. I haven't decided if I'm going to do Claire's game or not, or move on to Resident Evil uh, 3 or Final Fantasy 7, but it's going to be one of those three options. We're almost there. We got some good mixed herbs here. Three of them. We'll just do the green one for now. Got to leave some for later. Ugh, damn leg. Let oh, me care. come on, Ada. No, that only make me feel worse. I, I believe the tyrant's gonna come back here. I know I know he fell, but I feel like How's that or Mr. X, something's gonna happen. I think they pair. changed the game. Both At least that's what I feel like. Grave. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Leon, I tell you, he's the best though. Out of all the characters, I like Chris Redfield. And Wesker, but I really like Leon that too. Take us where we need to go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm actually going to fight the tyrant the on the outside so roof of this car. So, we're going to be battling on the roof of this thing real soon here. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon, trust me? 
You trust me? Honestly. That's a cool I little emoji. Right. Uh, hi, Cole. I it's really cool. Be sure to check out my other gaming right. channel, which you I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Then I'm going to start streaming over there. Um, yeah. I'm going to put the link yourself. right here for you guys. It's a case. I don't Leon, have the authority. Look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm going to finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just going to leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? Oh, wow. I'll be fine. There they go. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through. And I want to see you again. I got plenty to live for. Trust me. Now, arriving at Nest. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Here's the link. To the gaming channel this way you guys can subscribe to that Leon oh man this is so good counting on you I know well it's just me and myself because <laughs> she's gone it is gone so here we go This is gonna be fun. This is pretty much the final battle right here, guys. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. I don't know how much is going on down here, but in the original For game, this safety, was pretty much it. It's a, a boss battle at three different three different battles with the same safety, boss, and then that was it. Welcome to Ness. Enjoy your visit. Okay. I wonder where the G virus is. Oh, here goes nothing. we do that let's see if this door is locked authorized staff only oh God. beyond this point guests must refrain from entering figured the power would be out
design for the nutritional needs Son of a bitch. biological research. Please enjoy our tasty selection of healthy foods. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Guy's a tough one. <sighs> oh, back to the box we go. Why can't you just climb through there? Make life so much easier. Come on! You should be able to do that. It's not too much to ask. The nap room. Oh, here we go. <coughs> here we go. Inventory full, inventory full, inventory full. God, there's no room for nothing. I gotta waste these two bullets. There. Now we'll do the regulator because because that'll free that up. Uh, we need shotgun shells. This might come in handy. Doesn't make any sense. I need to collect all these items to get back to the box because I can make more ammo. go. Still don't know what to do there. We're going to have to come back. It's 
go put some stuff away. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by... We pretty much have everything I need except we don't need the handle right now. I mean, maybe we might. I don't know. I We need all this ammo and flamethrower ammo, and I need the grenade. Um, it's going to be tough to decide what to get rid of at this point. Chief Cartwright in the east area. Oh, there we go. Now we got two spots available. Let's go get the stuff that we left behind. Oh no, it was in the other room. An extra knife we'll put in the box in case we need it. There we go. I wonder if I have any more high... No, I don't. Because I wanted to make some magnum rounds, but we could make some shotgun. There we go. More shotgun shells. There we go. Looking good now. Time to head into that back room. Make sure I got a little extra space here. Um, we don't need that many herbs. Let's store those. We're pretty much good to go now. Virus is in the west area. Got it. Senior staff clearance required for bridge access. I think this all started off in the police station. Now here we are in this underground pace.
Oh, this is no good. <laughs> That's freaky. Senior staff clearance required for computer access. This looks so much better than Resident Evil 2 did for PS1. I remember all this stuff with the plants uh, growing in the basement. This is insane. That looks so real, too. The lighting effects, everything about it is just amazing. There's going to be a lot of toxicity here, though. Going to be poisoned a lot. Should have saved those high caliber uh, gunpowder, whatever it is, from earlier. Oh, shoot. Shit! Giving me some stuff now. I'd like an aid spray and another set of ammo. Dispensing solution now. I have to put a toxin, I think, in there. There's got to be something on the code here. Don't want to enter there. It's going to be nuts. I'm trying to... I don't think there was this code in the original game. Oh, wow. Okay. There's the code right there. I'm gonna take a picture of my screen. Fantastic.
Okay, so I'm gonna go unlock the computer, and this is where I synthesize the, synthesize the drugs to kill the plant. Or the plants. This is just like the first one. They remade this part pretty damn close. Alright, here we go. So I still can't do... The drug testing lab is still locked. I don't know, putting it in again. I'm just curious. Alright, we gotta take that ladder down. Oh, this is gonna be creepy. Be a box. I gotta come back for that. More ammo. I can't put this anywhere. Shoot. How is this guy still alive? I burned him to death. Oh my god.
Oh, there we go. Another code right there. All right, super slow, bro. Thanks for stopping and helping and watching and hanging out. And we'll see you on the next stream. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow, too. Oh, my. could use that that's that right there is magnum rounds there we go Maybe we'll store some of that. Senior staff clearance required for computer access.
Okay. There, the testing lab is open. All right, all right. We don't need that anymore. Give ourselves some free space. Got a green herb I can combine it with the red one, make myself another health or mixed herb. Manual mode engaged. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. I'm trying to figure out how you get this is different I think. Let me see.
There we go. More puzzles. Temperature is outside acceptable range. Oh, I had to cool it. That's right. I swear I thought somewhere in here it had to be cool. immediately. Where do we do that? Oh, the low temp testing room. That would make sense. Up. I thought I got that, like, but I did that properly. Let me see. 
Oh, never mind. There's two. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's time to go in here and get this taken care of. It's all talking about what's going on with that big green plant. Five new messages. I think we have to put a hazmat suit on in order to do this. The original was like that. Ugh. Who left the freezer open? More gunpowder. Okay. It's time to go kill this damn plant. That's what we're going to do.
Dispensing solution now. That did the trick. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been logged and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Oh my god. Not good, not good. I need to get the hell out of here. Okay, I'm gonna save and leave. Leave, leave, leave. Like, gone, bye-bye. I'm not trying to play around with Mr. X after playing around with the Tyrant and all these, uh, these other, like, I don't know, weird zombies, whatever they're called. It's time to get out of here. It's time to go. But I know what's going to happen now. This is where things are going to get nuts. Hopefully the G-Sam is up here. on the G-Virus. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! That's hunk right there. Target resisted. We had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move.
So those were G samples. Okay, gonna take a quick break to get a snack, okay? Quick break. We're still gonna be here like maybe three minutes before we start the game back up again. Just gonna take a quick break, all right, guys? So stay with me. Give me a sec.
Okay, sorry for keeping you guys waiting. I went to get a snack, take a break, and it turns out that my back porch like light was kind of bent from the wind. Like it just, it's weird the way it hangs. It's not really sturdy and it just kind of knocked off. And not only that, the gate was wide open. The wind knocked the gate open. It's been blowing like crazy out there. So I had to take care of that too, which I didn't expect to, uh, didn't expect to be doing that on a break, but nonetheless, much needed rest for my brain playing this game, especially being chased by the tyrant and Mr. X and all the other stuff, so. All right, so we'll get back at it here. I appreciate that, Ryan. It sucks, but the wind was like blowing so damn hard outside. The gate's like wide open. And I know I latched it down, or at least I thought I did, but I don't know. The wind is gone now, but earlier, like an hour ago, hour and a half ago, it was going nuts. It was even scaring me because I'm playing the game and the window's beside me and I keep hearing it shake like crazy. I'm gonna go put this ammo back in the box. Or this gunpowder. I don't want to be pressed for space. It seems to be happening quite a bit. Even though I do have a lot of slots, it's because I have, I have a flamethrower and a shot to hope. I thought it was going to zap me or something. <laughs> I thought I was going to get hit. Something. Well, we're about to do it. This is about the end of the game. Not quite, but almost. Where you live at, bro? Are you West Coast, East Coast? They're basically saying that some people were resistant to the G virus or the T virus and it doesn't stop your oh, mental capacity from deteriorating. Oh, Oklahoma. Right. <laughs> Oklahoma. Tornado Alley. Yeah, that's for sure. Got to get back to that box and make my stuff. Attention. Oh wait, there's a box. There's a box in here. Crazy. Some magnum rounds right here. There we go.
I feel like we're about to fight. I feel like it's about ready to fight with me, Tyrant, the final showdown. That's what I think is about to happen. Okay, so the plan now is to get back to Ada. That's it. This is the end of the game. I'm going to get my flamethrower on because I know I'm going to need it. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He's mine. This has to end. What the hell's going on? Sorry, William. You left me no choice. Wait, what? She beat him with some, like, concoction. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. Your Umbrella, too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. <coughs> you don't get away that easily. Good God, William. What have you done? So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this. You can spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. <laughs> Stop reloading, Leon. Stop reloading. I just reloaded you. How do you need to reload again? There's no way. I don't buy this for one minute. He's not dead. Nope. Has been neutralized. Ending quarantine. 
Oh yeah, now they're loading me up with ammo. Yeah, and I don't buy it. I ain't fooled. I ain't fooled. Don't try to tell me he's dead. They're giving me an awful lot of stuff. Unless that was for the battle, and maybe it's just that I had an overpowered Magnum. And that's the reason why he's dead. But I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't buy it a bit. How can I not fit those, though? Wow, they're giving me a lot of stuff. I know, right? She does look like Charlotte Flair, like legitimately. As soon as I saw it, I was like, what? It looks like Charlotte Flair. Now, here's the thing. I don't want to drop this, um, this cassette tape because I'm afraid that it's going to give me something and I'm going to lose out on it, like maybe hunk or something because if you collect all the tapes, it might give you something. I'm not entirely sure though. Um, it's either that or the Magnum because I don't want to give up on flamethrower ammo. I really don't. So I guess I guess I discard it and I take that. Well, they're loading me up. There's going to be an epic showdown. I can guarantee it. Yeah, there's going to be an epic showdown. This is pretty much it. This is going to be the finale of the game. At least that's what I feel, because he's coming back. He's not dead yet. Oh, Jesus, that looks bad. It feels worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> Trust that bitch. What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. That's bullshit. I hope you're right. <laughs> she looks like Charlotte but Blair so much. To the wrong hands. Oh, my God. Sending a message to somebody, just give me one second. Self destruct second. sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. Attention, 
Unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. Facility lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. Attention, unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. Facility lockdown initiated. Self-destruct sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. Attention, unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. Facility lockdown initiated. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, she does. She's like, woo! <laughs> I swear it's so funny because she legitimately looks like Charlotte Flair. Like, I don't understand how they did that. All right, so where are we going? Um, are we really going to go back to Ada? Ada is way over here, I think. Wait, uh, east, west, north. We got to go back to the nap room. And then get out of here. Yeah, we definitely have to do that. Attention. Self-destruct sequence. Initiated. Things are about to go bad. See, I knew it. I, I just said it. I knew it. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, see, it's about to go down now. Ada is I bad really news, big like time. This. So that's all this was. I was just some pawn to you. Look, I'm just doing my job, and I'm doing mine. So drop that damn gun. I'm taking Here you. Comes in. the tyrant. Hand over the sample, Leon. Oh my I God. Don't hurt you. You shoot me, but I don't think you can. What the? Well, apparently from that, we can tell that she definitely wouldn't have shot Leon. No kind of hard to remember that from the original game. But she liked him. Hold on. I think I can... Oh, oh man, this is uh, Forget it. intense. Shut up, I've got you. It's not worth it. Uh, don't let her go. Come on. This guy. Take care of yourself, Leon. I thought they would have at least saved her for no! this. Oh my god, that's horrible. So I guess she was a merc. She was going to do bad things. But, um... She did like Leon. She liked them, legitimately. And Annette, she killed her. So, that's so bad. And sad, to say Liz. Okay, so now we gotta escape the lab. It's not over yet. We're we're about to go battle. What's up, Chara? What's up, Noble? She's not a robot. She's a merc, but she's like I don't know. 
it's just weird because she was going to do evil things with the virus to sell it to the highest bidder, I, I think. But I don't know. I think Leon changed her mind. I really do. I got my flamethrower and this game is about to be complete. What's not close, Frost? About what she was going to do? Nine minutes until detonation. Who's that? Claire! Leon? You're down here too! Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not over yet, Leon? but nine minutes. Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. <laughs> Versus. Forget about me. Like, just get out of however here. long it's going to take me to actually do it. Damn it. Escape the lab. Duh. First aid spray right up here. Got it. Bingo. Uh. I don't need that. Okay, so what is the deal here? I gotta figure this out. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to go back, I feel like. Not gonna take that chance. Oh, what do you know? A box. I don't even need one of these right now, but plenty of health. Wait, what the? No, don't need it. All right. Oh, that's right. I, I do remember. Let me just dump something. I have to dump a lot of stuff. Let's dump that. And let's dump. I'm going to need some health, too, though. This is tough. That's one bullet right there. Let's leave it. I got a double slot. There you go, Frost. I, I can't quite remember what it's for, but I do remember needing space. This battle is going to be insane. I already see it now. Get out of my way. <laughs> there goes one grenade. But nothing. want to do that. I can't climb that? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, never mind. I don't know that. Okay, we'll discard it if we don't need it.
This is no, no, no. Go back. To Why is he going up? Come on, I want to look down. I don't want to like be blind. Oh, oh my God! This is not happening. The fucking joke. <laughs> He's swearing too. Gotcha. Bye bye. I am not trying to have this right now. Mr. X, please go away. You too. Piss off. What in the heck is going on? Oh, man. Can already... Yep, I figured as much. I want to see Mr. X fight the Pyram. Tyrant's dead. Or at least we think he is. Uh, gotta keep going. Oh, Mr. X, war where art thou? Until detonation. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, right, Noble? I agree. Wait, there's a box. Fantastic. Oh, yes, I remember now. Let's put this in the box. Hmm. Decisions. Got a mixed herb right there. Still gotta put something else in the box, but I'm gonna need some health too. Do I even need this decoder anymore? I don't even think I do. We'll just store it for now. If I need it, I'll have to reload my save. And I do remember this. I do remember the joint plug. Wait, there's no save here. Wait, there has to be. Strange. Okay, forget it. This is the final showdown. Wait, why did... I was going to go back to the box. You made me do that. Oh, man. Is that Mr. X? It doesn't even look like Come on. Oh man, that's not working. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's stun him. Oh my god. What the? This is a little intense. He's just immune to everything. Grenade time. He's destroying me. Okay, I need to think. 
The shotgun's the only thing that's working. To <laughs> block Lesnar. This guy said block Lesnar. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this though. Let's try again. This is terrifying. My last aid spray. Oh my god, the rocket launcher. Where did this come from? Now that is what I'm talking about. Oh my god. It won't let me equip the damn thing. There we go. Why can't I fire? What the? There, wouldn't let me fire it. That is crazy. Like, I kept trying to press L2 and the game wouldn't let me do it. But that's disgusting. You have arrived at the bottom level. Oh, I've arrived at the bottom level, have I? Are we so sure about that? Because at this point in time, I don't even know. I don't even have time to mess around with this. And I have no health. None whatsoever. Here comes the tyrant. I think the Tyrant's about ready to jump us here. And I got no health. Oh man. It's about to get real. All that over that little G-Virus. I can't believe I actually miss her. It's quite different playing the game here versus PS1. On the PS1 version, you fight the Tyrant on the top of the, uh, on the top of the elevator. We made it. Just like I said we would. Okay, so... I feel like... I feel like uh, Mr. X was a tougher boss than the Tyrant, for sure. The Tyrant was quite easy. You just shoot those eyes growing on his arms or legs, whatever. He dies. Mr. X was insane. Mr. X looked like he was a Tyrant from the original. Very similar. So it's like fighting a Tyrant G-Virus and a T-Virus all in one game. But I'm going to be honest. Mr. X was tougher, scarier, more methodical, and spookier than the Tyrant. We can skip that. Let's go to the... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There are 41 saves. And I still got a B. <laughs> I don't know how I did a B. There's a guy that played Resident Evil 3 beginning to end 
with no saves in like three hours. And he got a B or a C, I think. So I don't know how the ranking system works like that. 7.55? That's weird, because I've been in the stream tonight for 5 hours and 44 minutes and probably played 4 and a half hours. And last night played 3. No, that makes sense. I guess it makes sense. 8 hours. Could have done the game faster. Second time around, probably 5. I remember when I played it for PS1, I, did, I was able to get the game down to 3 hours and change. Like, 3 and a half. Well, we did it. Long play complete of Resident Evil 2. Um, Resident Evil 3 will be next. And Final Fantasy 7. That's a long game. What is all this stuff? Oh, second run is different. Play through the second scenario. I don't know what that means. I never, like, recall that. Oh yeah, that's his original outfit from the original game. Yeah, yeah Hunk is an S ranking for sure. Um, I don't know. Which of you guys like better? I'm starting to think that the new one's better. I used to like the old one, like legitimately. But now I think that the new one's actually quite better. I think it's quite better. I don't know what the second run through is. Okay, Frost, what does that mean, the second run through? Like, I don't think that was even in. Oh, no, no, that's with her. I thought it in a second scenario with Leon. I was going to say that makes no sense. I don't know if I should, I I should do that. Well, if I should well, just go on to Resident Evil 3. 3. I mean, this, this has been a long play of Leon, Leon, so... Let's take, Let's a, take vote. a vote. What do you, what do you guys think? Do you think I should, think do, I should do Claire's, Claire's, Claire's run, run in this game instead, instead of doing Resident, Resident Evil 3? Oh, wait, oh, it's Frost. You gave up two votes. Two different choices. You said you said Dinner Flares run and and go and go three. three. So which so which one should I do first? Or do you guys, do you guys say, say screw it? it. Go, back, go back to Black Ops or, or, or Modern, Modern Warfare or just, or just go, go to Final Fantasy I don't know, I don't know what to do at this point now. You see, you see, I, I, I played the original, original game, game and, and her storyline story is different, different for sure. For sure. But it's like, but it's not, like drastically not drastically different. different. It's weird, it's weird because, because not, it's not really a parallel storyline. It feeds her into Leon's, Leon's position. position. They kind of swap, swap, change, change a few things. Because you know, because you know, it's like Leon Dark War. No, it was where there was he doing and doing. doing. So if I play so as Claire, is that in the game, the game will defeat itself for me? I highly doubt it. Wait, I might just reverb Hold on, hold on. I have to have to preview. I have to see, have to see what's going on with it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna listen listen to this. Okay. Okay. Oh, how long how long has it been doing that? A buffer issue. I I fixed it. Thanks, Ryan. I don't know. There we go. Stupid Windows. I hate Windows. Macintosh is the way to go. So how long has it been doing that crazy mic crap? Whatever that. 
Oh. Okay, so everyone says go to three. So I guess that's what we're going to do. Um, the nemesis. We're going to fight the nemesis. That's what's going to happen here. I was shocked at how long Windows kept up tonight without having that little issue that seems to pop up every single time. And tonight it didn't happen. Or at least until now. So I don't own Resident Evil 3. But I can get it for the next stream. Um... Wait a minute. What is this? Let's see what this is. Um... Okay. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> this girl's got a gun. Yeah, uh, Hunk's run opened. I'm gonna have to play as him because that was like the best part of Resident Evil 2. Oh man, she sucks at this. Yeah, she, she totally does suck. Now you're dead. Wait, no you're not. Just die already. Gone. You know what? I'm not bothering with that. I'm gonna dodge. If she dies, she dies. I don't, I don't even care at this point. No! Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice try. Nice try, though. Wow. Give me my knife back, please. This bitch is a savage. Combination lock. Let me guess that's where I gotta go. Probably. Alright, let's do this. Anybody care to care to tell me if you played this whose mission? Oh whoa whoa whoa. Oh <laughs> god. Whose mission this is, like what's really going on here? Now that was sick. High power. And she's running around in heels. Like, take the shoes off. Like, why is she gonna wear heels while doing this? 
Look, I tell you what, if zombies were chasing me around and I had like these killer boots on that were heavy and they were like digging into everything, they would be gone real quick. No, 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 I don't want... I should have taken the ammo. That was the stupidest decision ever. Oh well. Look at me go. I just traded ammo for one grenade. Hey, but in the words of Dolph Lundgren, uh, it's more like escape the house. In the words of Dolph, oh, oh man. Dolph Lundgren, if she dies, she dies. Oh wow, they're giving me a flamethrower. <laughs> oh man. Let's kill the dogs. No, what? I burnt that dog. Got him. I just wanted to have some fun and burn him down. Might have to do a speed run. I would... Oh my god, I would hate to be in her position. High heels and a high cut skirt fighting zombies. I have no ammo. Oh, except the grenade. Oh, man. Zombie roundup. Got that right. This is not happening. Everything's burnt crispy over here. They still can't get over the high cut top and heels. It's ridiculous. Now that is insane. It didn't kill him. And I have to go right by him. And with no health. Yeah, and rain frost, and rain. High cut top and high heels in the rain and just battling zombies. Just a typical day in the office. Oh man, let's go. Let me get out of here, please. She is not going to make it. There is no way. The next time anybody sneezes on her, she's going to fall over and die. There's an alley there. Oh, that's where I'm going. I figured as much. She's dead. She had nothing. She had no health. She had no ammo. It's not really escape the house. It's like, seems like I'm escaping the city at this point in time. I don't know. Okay. This time I'm not going to waste any ammo. I'm just going to run. The problem is she can't run. She's got high heels on and it's raining. Like, how can we even expect her to run with high heels in the rain? It's just, it's just not possible. 
<laughs> this guy right here. He died. She died by liquors. Get that. With high heels on and a high cut skirt in the rain fighting zombies. All right, here we go. Let's do this again. I'm not going to be so stupid as to take a grenade. I'm going to have to take some ammo. Let's skip all that mess. I don't know where Ben's cell is. I don't even know. Oh, the garage. That's where I'm going. Okay, got it. I think I understand a little bit better now. I have a little bit better understanding of where we're going and what we're doing. Yep, she needs high-powered weaponry. We're not going to waste no ammo on these has right here. There we go. We'll let the knife do the work. My knife back. Thank you much. We're not gonna do this. We'll let the knife do the work. Let's get out of here. Oh, another one. I forgot. Yay. Old key. Got it. 30 handgun or high-powered SLS. Oh, that is a decision. Um, We're going to have to go with the high-powered. Going to have to do that. Oh my god. I'm trying not to waste ammo, but she's got no health. And not enough ammo either. So no matter what I do, I'm kind of like... Screwed. Well, I'm not screwed. She's screwed. But still... Oh, I missed. <laughs> That's not good. I'm not going to waste no ammo on these dogs. I got to get out of here. Okay. So I have less health than I did last time. But I have a lot more ammo, so I think we're in better shape. Oh my 
god, come on. This crap. It's gonna be impossible to do anything with her. She's got zero charisma and zero health. I'm just, you know, being real here. Okay, no health. Oh wait, there's another candy machine. Is that what these are? I know, right, Modi? <laughs> What's up, Joel? Um, green herb, and can't take them both, can I? Nope. I used the green herb and I'm still in caution. Nah, it's not good. Okay. Let's try to kill this guy from the fence. Oh, well, that didn't work. That's not working out for me. Well, that's a waste. Okay, his backpack's available. Woo! Time to run for it. That's it? Just a key? Really? A key? No! Okay, I need to get out of this stupid court. Like, now. She's... She's doomed. She's so doomed. what to do with her at this point. I'm looking for a candy machine. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Nope. We're not. Mm -mm. Not feeling it. We'll go somewhere else. This zombie's speed walking. He's power running. We're going to run past all these crazy, crazy zombies. She is about to... She's about to meet her maker. <laughs> What's gonna happen here? Go in, go in. Oh, I've been just waiting for this candy machine. Hmm. I gotta go with the handgun ammo. <laughs> She's got high heels on. Like, I can't get over this. She's gonna go up these steps and we're gonna make it finally. 
We're about to make it into the police station soon. Oh my god! She's dead. She's dead. This is not happening. There is no beatenness with her. There's absolutely... Not, it's just not happening. She doesn't have any health. None. Except one herb. That's it. One. It doesn't even fill up 20% of her health. And there's not enough ammo because you... You can't ditch... You can't ditch those skin zombies. You can't. You have to shoot them. And she's got no ammo and no health. Which means it doesn't matter what I do or who I shoot or how I do it. I'm either going to be out of health or out of ammo or both. She just doesn't have it. It's going to be very, very hard, if not almost impossible, to actually do this. Because she has nothing. Literally nothing to get the job done. So... I'm going to have to figure out a way to not get hit because she's too slow. It's way too slow. See, like this situation, I either going to take damage or I'm going to waste ammo. You can't, you cannot dodge these. See? Right there. She's already in the yellow. And I've wasted ammo. That's the problem. She's not fast, she's not strong, and she doesn't have anything. She's got nothing. So... It doesn't help when I miss shots, either. This is like nine bullets, ten bullets for one zombie. This is not good at all. Yeah, more running for sure. This, the girl's got heels on. You should not... She can't even get out of her own way. See, she's taking damage again. There's just no way. There's no way at all. She is too damn slow. Way too slow. And the game doesn't have any dodge buttons either, which means it's just going to be very hard. Very, very hard. I got to wait for Mr. Backpack Boy. I gotta lure the other ones off the bus. I can't waste ammo on them. That's exactly what I'm talking about. How in God's green earth am I going to take everybody out with no help? She's dead. She's done. There's no way. I'm done. She, like, the problem is, is you can't get on the bus. Like, they won't come off the bus. Which means I have to kill all of them. Because if I fight them on the bus, all the other zombies attack me. 
if I don't fight the guys in, or the zombies in the bus, they kill me. And if I do, I gotta kill them all, which means no ammo. So it really comes down to the same thing every time, no ammo. Like here, I can't kill that guy by aiming a shot because these guys are here. So, and she's limping. There's just not enough ammo, just not enough. She's dead. There's just no way. <laughs> There's no way. Way too dead. Goodbye. The problem the problem with this is is that you can't go through the bus without killing the skin zombies. You can't. You can't fight the skin zombies without killing the zombies on the outside of the bus. Which means I have to kill all of them. Which means no ammo. That's the big problem is that the only real option is to take the grenade. The grenade's the only option. To not use any bullets at the beginning, take the grenade, bomb all the zombies off the bus, and then use the handgun ammo to kill the two on the bus. That's the only way. And it has to be timed perfectly. And I have to time somehow pulling a magical wand out of nowhere to try to like get out of the hallway. This is like literally the most ridiculous scenario I've ever seen in any Resident Evil game. I don't think I've ever seen anything so like bizarre. Like they realistically expect me to survive zombies with this chick with no ammo and no health. I'm just gonna have to wing this as best as I can. Okay, give me your old key, guy. Hmm. We'll take the hand grenade. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. This. Oh, what? Yeah, there you go. She's limping again. Game over. Yep, she's limping. There's no way. Every time she limps, it's game over. She's too slow. Yeah, she's done. It's over. There's no way. I need to be able to get out of that area without taking damage. If I can't escape that area without taking damage, it's going to be very hard to do it. That didn't even work as well as I expected. Still had to use the flamethrower. This guy's still alive. <sighs> Let's try to not waste ammo. Maybe we can get them to follow me off the bus. See, they won't leave the bus. That's the big problem. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. No, back they go. Why are these shots missing? I'm shooting that head. This is this is stupid windows. There's five bullets wasted. You know what? This is not working. She's dead. She's, it's over. Miles will just let her die. I'm just gonna let her die. It's pointless. It really is. It's pointless. They won't come off the bus. And I can't. I just can't. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that I'm killing those zombies on the bus without blowing through every last bullet that I have. So when I leave there, I'm bone dry on ammo. That's that's the whole problem with this. Is they, they won't come off the bus. And I can't fight them on the bus with all the other zombies, so I have to blow all the ammo. That's it. There's no way. I've beaten every Resident Evil game there is in the history, all of them, and I've never seen anything like this before. It's just unreal. It really is. There's literally no chance that I'm going to get this done, and if I do, it's very slim. Like, there's just too much ammo wasting going on. See? She's already in limping already. Already limping. We just started. Oh man. If I could just somehow, some way just get out there without limping, I could maybe do this. But she's always limping because she's getting bit because she ain't got no ammo. Oh my god. The grenade didn't work, so we're gonna do it this way. Yeah, this is just not fun because it's basically impossible. Because it's a short game, like maybe 10 minutes, they made it 100% impossible, so it would take you three hours. And I'm definitely not gonna waste three hours on this crap. Oh, come on. Good lord. Yeah, she's done. She's done. I'm just gonna let her die. Just die already. Let the hooker die. Seriously, this is ridiculous. She's got no health. Like, there's, like, how do they expect this to even work? How do you dodge all of this stuff? without getting bit and not using any ammo. Like, how? There's no dodge button. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like telling people to, like, unlock doors without keys. Like, you can't. Like, I can't shoot because she got no ammo. That's ridiculous. Like, how do they call this a side game? This, I bet you this will take longer to beat in the main game. I mean, I've already been at this now for 45 minutes and I've made zero progress. So, it's just stupid. I should just play as Hunk. That's what I should do. It's just, this is my last attempt. I'm not, there's no way, because I know what they're doing here. They want me to play this like 90 times in a row to try to figure like a pattern and by the time it's all said and done, I'll have four hours wrapped up in a side mission that needs diddly crack. Not gonna do it. Not gonna play into it. It's stupid. 
It's totally bogus. Reloading again. What is with the what is with the aim system here? Come on. Headshot. Reload. Not reloading again. See, look at the ammo. Sure, I've got health, but the ammo is now becoming a problem. Oh, Capcom, why do you do this? Oh my god. The knife seems to be the way to do it though, because it's saving health. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the dogs. Okay, don't get bit by the dogs. Okay. Hookers are used to playing with dogs anyway. You get my drift. No, my God, I was just getting ready to hit the X button. Come on. Bogus. At least she's still fine. That's, uh saying something here. Let's burn them close together. That was such a waste of fuel, and I still got these guys to deal with. I do have my knife, though. I do have my knife. I can't waste ammo like that, and they won't come off the damn bus. This is what is so aggravating. Um, why didn't she use her knife? Move away from me. I can't keep playing this game with you. This is ridiculous. This, this is just stupid. Same scenario again. She's limping. Come on. 
kick the heels off and learn how to move those legs. Go away. How are you even trying to attack me when you're on fire? She's done again. There's just no way. You guys are watching it. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. She has got no health and no ammo. I don't even understand how I'm supposed to make it through that bus without getting bit or without blowing all my ammo. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, even with the health, though, I would have had health right there. I would have filled my health up, but I had no ammo again. The problem is this is this is a tug of war between health and ammo. It's just not going to balance itself out because there's none. So even if I had the health, I'd have no ammo and I'd just be running around aimlessly without being able to fight. So I just don't I just don't get what they want me to do in a situation where I can't heal myself or fight. Like what is it they want me to do? It's almost, it's just I don't know, this is retarded if you ask me. This this isn't making any sense. Nice try though. Oh wow, he left. I didn't have to uh, waste ammo on him. That's nuts. Oh my god, run! What is this girl's problem? Like, never played a Resident Evil game where they just won't run. You gotta like mash the run button. In any case, I wasted two shots. This is the stupid part right here. And she still gets attacked, even with all that fire. Unbelievable. This is just crazy. It's just crazy what they expect you to do with no ammo or health. And then the vending machines, they only give you like... They only give you like one thing. Are you going to die? This guy's literally on fire. Thank you. Oh my god, all that body fat prevents him from burning. Oh my 
on. Use your knife. Why is she not using her knife? Okay, we're gonna save some ammo doing it that way. Oh, no, not like that, we won't. Okay, I guess there's that, right? Okay, I think we found something here. Gotta cheese the game and glitch it and stuff. Um... Well, now that I've got a knife, I guess things will be better. I don't know. I'm gonna lure all the zombies over here. Then I'm gonna go with high power round, try to quickly shoot that guy in jet. I don't have time to make mistakes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just too much. Go to the door. Huh. <sighs> This is so not fun. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's driving me crazy. It's time to lure everybody over here. I don't even think this is gonna work. It didn't work. The knife just saved my life. And I have to ditch it. Go, 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 go. No more knife for you. You don't get a knife. You lost it. You lost your only chance of survival. You and your high heels. Oh, wait. There's a combat knife. I'm going to have to go with the combat knife. I gotta go back for the other knife though. What do you guys think? <sighs> How am I gonna get my knife back? That's the question. Is it worth even going back out there to get another knife? I don't know. Damn it. This is too much. I don't have enough ammo for this. And there's no green herb anywhere.
Reload, come on. Reload, what is taking you so long? That's it, all out of ammo. I have nothing. No health, no ammo, no weapons, nada. She is done. There is no way she's making it out. I literally have nothing. This is the point that I keep trying to make, is there's no health and there's no ammo. Like, you can't just dodge these zombies. She's slow and they won't move. She's fucking done. She's done. There's no way. There's no way. Zero. She has zero chance of making it through. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even have my knife. If I had a knife, then I might have a chance. But I... Like, they're not gonna leave. And every time I go up here, they're just gonna stop and go right back up. And we're gonna keep rinsing and repeating. There's just no way. And now there's another one to dodge. See? She's dead. This is no way. It's not gonna happen. Because there is not enough ammo. We're now going on an hour and 15 minutes on this side mission, and we're still playing it. This is not a side mission. This is Capcom's way of killing your clock. There, it's just not possible. It's just not possible at all. The only way to do this is to run past everything and continually die until you get lucky enough to not die, because there's not enough ammo. I don't care how good of a shot, we the best shot in the world. And there's just not enough bullets to kill the amount of zombies that are in this. Which means it's all about luck, not skill. Because there's no dodge button, so you have to get lucky. See, those are all headshots. And now I gotta waste ammo on this one to get my knife back. Slow reloading, slow runner. Nah, might as well, I'm just gonna let her die. See, she just, she's weak and slow. Oh, you just pathetic. it. Oh my God, just restart. Jesus. I don't expect like this kind of chaos from a side game. This is literally more difficult than the game. So it doesn't make sense. This just doesn't make any sense. What I need is my knife. I need to make it to the ladders with the knife. This cannot be done without the knife. It cannot. Because that's what's gonna allow me to save ammo. That is just not saving ammo right there at all. She's reloading already. You gotta be shitting. Hey, we're not playing this game again, guy. Nope. Not like last time.
See, she's fast enough on foot when she's not bit. Okay, let's do this. I'm doing good on the health department and the ammo's okay. Oh my god. I don't know what the fuck. Mazda skipped the game now. I wasted three high power shots. my knife. No, this is not happening. Come on. Oh my god, she's limping again. Might as well forget this round too. Oh god, I hate it when she gets bit. It's so frustrating. So damn slow. She is so slow. There we go. Okay, the goal here is to not use but a couple of bullets and use the knife. Come on. They seem to be weak against the knife. I don't know. That's weird. I have unlimited use. So I'm going to make sure that they're gone. Lure him out with one bullet. No, oh, no, he's going to go back. Gotcha. There we go. We made it out. High power rounds. No time for mistakes now. Okay. I'm gonna lure them all over here. No turning back now. Wait, there's a vending machine after the bus. That's right, there was. But 
forgot about that. And that's gonna help a little bit. Okay, now we're in good shape. going on. Take the old key. There. Oh, 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 that was so close. Why? What is What is going on? Get out. Oh, I still got flamethrower ammo. And I got some of this ammo right here. Knife. Hold on, let me see it's in the vending machine first. Oh. Let me try to get my knife back so I can actually get some ammo. This, this game is, game is just full of, full of damn, damn surprises, surprises man. man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to the change the night. I have to. I have to. It's tough. It's tough. There's 50, 50 handgun hand ammo with definitely, definitely 20, 25 bullets. Kill those, kill those two and leave 25. Five. And that's the hand handgun hand 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 ammo. That is not, not good. good.
I feel like things are going, going to get to quite, quite, quite horrible. horrible. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no! Oh my no, god, no! no. no. Just watch. Think about it. Think about what's happened in the last couple of minutes. There's just no way. Even if I had conserved... Even if I had conserved 20 bullets fighting them, and I had conserved, like, you know, the fire, the flamethrower, it wouldn't have been enough. It wouldn't have been enough. I'd have killed the dogs. It still wouldn't have mattered. It would not have mattered because after the dogs were dead, the next spot that I get to, guess what? Flat out of ammo again. I can't. I just not doing it. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and waste four hours on a pointless game. I wish I could have done it for you guys, but I'm just not doing it. It's just not worth it. They really want, and they say the difficulty's two stars. My ass. That is like the biggest crock of shit ever two stars. Yeah, I'm sure. More like four. I can only imagine what the other ones are like. No. Not doing it. Not doing it at all. Nope. Unfortunately not. Honestly, that side that side game, whatever that was, was whack as shit. Like, it really was. It's just pointless. I appreciate it, Frost, but it's it's just it, like I said, it's pointless. It doesn't make any sense to to put you in that kind of a position and and literally give you no health and no ammo. It, like and to top it all off, it's not like they're putting you up in a position where you can run. They're not doing that. They've said, hey, you get no ammo, you get no health, and by the way, you can't run because we're going to block all the, the, the aisles, the alleys, the buses. So you're going to shoot up all your ammo, die all your health, and then you're just going to die. Like, that's basically what it is. I don't see how anybody could beat that, to be honest. I mean, I, I fully believe anybody who's ever beaten that has spent two or three or four hours playing it or more to figure out every little end of it. And you know what they get for it? Nothing. I'm not doing that. That's a waste of time. It's a big waste of time. Uh, I was going to play Call of Duty, but it's too late. Probably days. Yeah, it's stupid. They do... this. That's what I don't like about video game creators. They want you to live on their game forever. Destiny is a prime example. They keep spewing out crap so that you'll stay playing the game. And then when it's all said and done, you've spent like three years on one game. I don't fall for that. I beat the main game. I play a little bit. I move on. Resident Evil is now doing the same thing. They want you to sit here like I just did every single day 
doing all these side campaigns and it's a waste of time. It really is. They're not going to give you nothing for it. I'll bet on it. And if they do, what good is it? The game's beat. So they give you like some crazy gun. Where do you get it? Where are you going to use the gun? In the game you already beat? Come on. I don't know. I just think it's done. I think it's really done. At least with Call of Duty, you have replay value. Like good replay value. Fortnite. I used to play Fortnite. I don't know. I feel like I wanted to try Hunk's mission, but if, if hers was a two star and his is three or four, makes point no no point to play it is pointless because it's gonna be impossible. Like I don't know why they would do that, but I don't know. Gonna be Resident Evil Three. That's the next game. Tomorrow night. Resident Evil Three and Final Fantasy Seven. Don't forget to subscribe to the gaming channel. Yeah, I bet. There's the gaming channel right there. Anybody in the chat that hasn't subscribed to that channel, want to get it over a thousand, then I'll move the content off this channel because it's really a car and game channel, but I'm really trying to separate the two. I really am. Um, so today I'm racing a scat pack. That video is going to be going up soon. I've also had some drama with my GT350R spoiler. So that is going to be going up tomorrow. And I'm going to be racing a Scat Pack and a Mark V Supra tomorrow. So we'll see what happens there. That would be pretty cool. Um, oh, you know what? I always do this on my streams. I'm going to play something right quick. I'm sure everybody's going to get a kick out of this. Okay, watch this. Look at this stuff. Come on. I can't hear it. There it goes. You guys remember this? <laughs> Who remembers that? Anybody remember that? That's like vintage. This has got better sound quality though. This one right here. <laughs> oh my God. Duke Nukem. 1995 all over again. Makes me feel old. Hail to the king, baby. I know. I know. It's like the greatest ever. It really is. Well, I'm going to be racing, uh, like I said, a scat pack today. And then after that, I'm going to be racing Mark V Super and something else. So, got a lot of content today. Um, and it's so late. It's like 5.34 in the morning over here. I don't even know how I'm still awake. I worked out like two hours yesterday. And then on top of that, I filmed so much content for the channel. Then I streamed all night. All I do is work. I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm thankful that I still have YouTube. So... Um, I almost want to play a round of Call of Duty. I really do. I'm not going to lie. I see it sitting there and I want to, I just want to kill some people and wreck them. But 
I don't know. I'm going to be up early today to film these videos, so not 100% sure. You've been up since 3. Oh, you, you work nights, that's right. Or at least that's what I uh, think. Oh, yeah, Ryan. Duke and Doom and Wolfenstein 3D is where it all started. Legit. Oh, what to do? What to do? We'll probably stream tomorrow is what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, the scat is most likely going to get beat, although it's pretty quick. It's uh, my boy, um, his car, Troy. The guy who's always like in my videos at the drag strip. But he is like, I don't know, he's got his car lighter because he's got lightweight welds on it and stickies. He's got um, street R tires, I think. And I don't know what else he's got done, but he runs like 11.5, 11.3, something like that. From a roll, it's going to be tough. Horsepower to weight ratio, even with no seat and the lightweight welds. He weighs like 4,200 pounds. My, I have a seat delete now and the trunk liner has gone. So it's like a GT350R. So that's like 41 pounds and the battery's 22 pounds lighter. So I'm looking at like 63 pounds weight savings and then my passenger seat's coming out. So I'm going to be like 120 pounds lighter and I'm making like 580 crank. So I would, I would think that we're probably making the same power, but I'm going to be 400 pounds lighter, 500 pounds lighter. That GT350 is no joke because of the weight. The more weight I can keep getting out of the damn car, the better it's going to be. Oh, 6 until 7 p.m. mostly. Okay, so you get home at like 7. That's pretty cool. Well, that new Supra, Ryan, even if it's modified, I don't know if it'll get me because they make like 390 or 380. And when you do like a tune and an intake and an exhaust, they make 500. I still don't see how he'd get me. I'm making 580 and they're still like 3,400 pounds. 200 pounds isn't enough to make up for 100 horsepower. It'd be tough. I don't, I don't think they would. And they're all wheel drive, I think, aren't they? That means a lot of puristic loss on a roll. Um, like if a Supra was racing me with a tune from a roll, I think he's still done because he's all wheel drive and all wheel drive does not like the roll race very well at all. Unless you're talking like high, high power applications, but like just a stock car with a tune like that, all wheel drive is going to get eaten alive. I think by a GT 350, especially a, one that's got weight reduction and a tune and E85. I don't know. It's going to be close, but. I think if the Supra is stock or anything close to stock, no chance. But we shall see. We shall see. No, no, it's a new. It's a new Supra. I'm. I'm. He. I'm pretty sure he said it was like a 2019 or 2020. And they don't stand a chance. Even the old Super doesn't stand a chance stock. They have to have mods. The new one would require a lot. It would need an intake, tune, exhaust, E85, possibly like a bigger turbo. I don't know because I think the most you're going to get out of those cars is like I mean, they do 320 wheel stock. You might get 400 with a tune. You might get 450. I've even been on those forums where the guys talk about them making 450 wheel is about the limit without changing the turbo. Full bolt on, full tune, E85, you're like 450, 475. You're really pushing it. So my car is 40 wheel over right now. Once I do the cat deletes, and the carbon fiber drive shaft, it's probably going to put down 540. So, you got like 90 wheel horsepower difference. 
and my car only weighs 200 pounds more, it's going to be really tough for them. It, they would need a legit, like if I was stock, then it would be no good. If they, if they didn't take in a tune and I was stock, I'd be done. But when you start tuning and, you know, doing weight reduction on these GT 350s, they're hard cars to beat. Yeah, it's just not enough. The GT350 is a great balance when you think about it. Like, I'm going to do some math here. Um, car weighs like 3760. And that's with full full everything. Fuel, everything. Um, I did the battery, which puts me to 3738. Uh, the trunk stuffs 10 pounds, 32 on the rear seats, 55 for the passenger. So my car only weighs 3641 with a full tank. So with a half a tank, you figure that's eight gallons at seven pounds a gallon. It's like 56 pounds right there. So my car right now weighs about 3590 with a half a tank of fuel. That's light. And it's making 510 wheel. So we divide that by 510, I get seven pounds per horsepower, flat, seven even. A Hellcat Charger, they make like 650 wheel. So stock, they make like 630, 650. We're going on the high end. Seven flat. You can't make that up. I'll even show you guys. Look. A stock charger weighs 4,575 pounds. You divide that by 650 wheel, when in reality they mostly do 630. So just do 630 and be, and be real here. 7.26 pounds per horsepower. We're going to say my car weighs 3,600 even, and we're going to divide that by 510 wheel. 7.0. So realistically, my car has the same power to weight ratio as a Charger Hellcat. Granted, I'm a manual transmission. I have to shift my ass off. Uh, but realistically, it should be close. Um, so because I'm a manual transmission, that's what's hurting it. Once I put the catless connector pipes on, that's worth another 10 to 15 wheels. So I'll be doing about 525 wheel. And then by the time I put the uh, drive shaft on, that's going to free up a little bit of horsepower as well. I mean, they usually make eight to 10 wheel by putting the carbon fiber on just because you're freeing up horsepower that's lost in the drivetrain. Uh, so I could realistically be 530, 535. And then by the time you account for lighter weight wheels, 535, 540 is very realistic. And that's enough power where if I get a short shifter and my shifting is on point, like it's been or better, I should be able to hang with a manual Hellcat or like be right there with a Charger Hellcat, which is bone stock. Because these cars, like I said, they're light as shit. And not only that, um, the most important part of this whole scenario is if I get a carbon fiber trunk and a carbon fiber hood and carbon ceramic brakes, now we're talking about a GT350 that's going to lose 55 pounds just from the brakes, 10 pounds in the trunk, 8 pounds on the hood. So that's like 70-something pounds right there. So now we're talking about a car that weighs 3,500 flat, just over 35 if I want to get under 35, I can just drive with a quarter tank of gas. And then we're talking about a GT350 that weighs 3490, 3480. That's light. That's like Supra weight, Corvette C7 weight, C6 with like 540 wheel. That's like 600, 620 crank and weighing like 3400 and change. You're talking like high 10 second passes all day long with the right tires. And from a roll, we're talking like 60 to 130, probably in the seven second range, maybe six high sixes, mid sixes. 
maybe even a little better than that. Like it's a fast car. It's just the weight. Like they make good power. It's just, you know, getting the, the tune and the bolt-ons right and everything like that and getting the weight down. That's the key. And that's what I'm working on right now. Well, guys, that's going to do it for the stream. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. I finally found E85 out here at the refinery. One pump. Oh, God, only one pump? Definitely use it, bro. It's great power, man, I tell you. Great power. Um, that's going to do it for the stream. I will be back at you tomorrow night, 100%. Um, it's going to be tough to decide what time it's going to be. Because by the time I'm done filming, it's going to be like probably six, seven o'clock at least. So it might be nine o'clock, eight, nine o'clock, but we'll get at it with Resident Evil 3 if I end up buying it. If I don't, we'll just play some Call of Duty tomorrow. Either way, we'll have a good time. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for stopping in. And um, be sure to check out my other videos. Check out the other channel if you haven't already. Most of the people in here have already done it. Hey, well, let me type. He won't let me type. Weird. The chat box has disappeared. Windows added again. Windows is always added. Anyway, peace out, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Deuces. Thank you much. We'll see you guys. Be safe out there. Have a great day.